All right, well, welcome to Alabama. The next state on our list of places to stop. Graham and I are about to hit the woods and we're gonna be looking for probably the hardest milk snakes of the trip. So uh, definitely our greatest chance of failure, but also the snakes we're the most excited to look for. So we're gonna hit the woods and see what we can find. All right, Graham has our first Alabama snake of the trip. Actually, no, we cruised the racer on the way in, but got away. Nice little Midwestern worm. We'll probably be seeing quite a few of those today. All right, Graham just flipped our third worm snake in about 10 minutes. Hopefully that is a good sign. This one's a little prettier than the last two. You can see he's got a pretty colorful belly for a snake this far east. There's some big slimy salamanders. Just let it go whenever you're ready. Okay. I was just gonna get a little video. Back to your rock. I wonder if that one's just grab it or something. It's just yeah, so it's got big. Me. All right. Hey, Graham. What? I just got a dope red salamander. Look at that. Wow. What? Yeah! yeah! Ah! Let go of me, tree. Dude. That's a good thing. We got it, though. That thing is... Holy I'm so sad right now, but I'm also so... Dude. This is like my... Where was it? That thing is huge. That thing is so good, too. That's tragic. Yeah. <laughs> this thing's awesome, too. We got one, though. We, we did got, it. They're out. We got one. We got one in 30 minutes. Yeah. Dude. Good stuff. All right. Well, there we have a beautiful red salamander. <coughs> and Graham sneezing with his first Alabama milk snake. <laughs> All right. Well... This area we are in today is kind of an integrated zone between eastern and red milk snakes, but they definitely skew very red, in my opinion. And you can see, that snake is pink. If that snake was freshly shed, that would be an incredibly vibrant red. What a snake. If we can get a snake that's not in shed at this locality, that will almost certainly be the highlight of the trip, other than potentially the Scarlet King snake we saw in Tennessee. Always a little bit of a disappointment when you find a snake this awesome and it's in shed, but we know that this snake would, would be just mind blowing in a week a or two. Graham just hiked a ring neck. Look at that guy. <laughs> That's cool. Unfortunately, he's got to move because I need to flip that, flip that rock. We found the dogs. Hi. What's up, dude? Have you uh, seen any of those pictures there with me, dog? You know? There's another Hi. one. Hi. Look at these guys. Hi. I like these dogs. That's a boy. He's a big guy. What's up, dude? You remind me of Blaze, man. So, uh, <laughs> Graham just flipped his second milk of the day. He is absolutely killing it. And it's this guy. I mean, look at that. It's orange. I have never seen a, an orange milk snake in Alabama. That's so weird and awesome. That that thing is alterna orange. <laughs> yeah. That is nutty, and he's got an awesome head. Beautiful milk snake, number two for the day. The saddles on this thing are just nutty. Look at that. And he's got a little red on the spots on the side, too. I bow my head before thee. Look at that belly. That is so crazy. What an animal. We got a trembler over here. I enjoy snakes. <laughs> that much. Oh my. I was yeah. doing that with the first one. By the way, Natalie, it's no, it's not too cold. Hello, brother. I put this guy in my pocket to put my camera gear up. And he just started to crawl out and just he's chilling. Look at that. We're gonna put him back under his rock and we'll probably call it a day after finishing up at this spot but there's still a lot of good rock to hit here so maybe we can get a third i'm not gonna i'm not gonna you know i don't want to jinx anything but 
they're out. We said let's go they're for out. a second. So yeah. let's go for a third, shall we? We we got let's go for a third that's also not in shed. Or maybe that or double a, that double flip that I've been thinking flip, about all day. That DD that I'm not gonna The oh, DF. The DF. This is the one that did all the all the trouble. Can't get out of the bathroom. I'm legitimately trapped in this bathroom. <laughs> ah, there we go. All right, everyone. Well, Mississippi did us pretty dirty yesterday. Uh, I don't think the day was a complete failure because we found a lot of cool habitat for in the future. The snakes just were not with us. So today we are back into Tennessee where uh, we've had a little bit more success on this trip so far. And hopefully that trend will continue today. So, oh my goodness, we've got two milk snakes right here. Look at this. There's a milk there and a milk there. So there's a red milk snake there. There's a red milk snake. That's two different there. snakes now. And then there's another one right there. Three milks at our first stop of the day. Yeah, he's right there. Look at that. All right, well, we've gotten Tennessee Eastern and red milk snakes now. That is awesome. Well, it's not gonna be the best video, but there's a copperhead in this crack. Look at that guy. Very cool. So all three of these snakes are wedged in these cracks. There's no way we're going to be able to get them out. I mean, it's possible we could if we really wanted to, but these guys are chilling and they're all in shed. So there's not really any reason to mess with them. But very, very cool to see some natural milk snake behavior like this. It's not very often that you get to see milk snakes just in habitat like this, kind of basking, thermoregulating. This is kind of what these snakes would be doing if they weren't under rocks. I mean, this gives you a peek into the underworld, kind of. Very, very interesting. So there's also a king snake here. Look at this. That is insane. That's a great looking so snake. So many too. snakes right here. This is kind of nutty how many snakes are in this little outcrop. Look at that guy. You can see there's a shed right there, probably his shed. <laughs> so we're looking at those snakes in the crack and Graham looks up the road and there's a racer in the road. Look at this guy. He's going straight into defensive mode. Hey, buddy. <laughs> That's a beautiful racer. Look at this dude. Yeah, that thing's awesome. He's freshly shed. Dude. Look at that. It is snaky. It is. All right, buddy. We just want to make sure you get out of the road safe. You wanna give me one? <laughs> I'll give you another. I'm sorry, I spotted you, but you shouldn't be in a road. You look like a coach with <laughs> All right, Mr. Racer. You wanna, oh, okay. <laughs> you just, wanna fight. I'm just trying to usher you Go this way. off into the forest. Go this way. Hey, hey, I know, I know, I know, I know. Get, you can go. You're free. We don't wanna fight. We just wanted to see you and share you with our friends on the internet. Okay, there you go. Oh, I don't want to get bit by him. I don't either. Even though I just went, here, give me one and let him bite me, but. Okay, there he goes. There. <laughs> <laughs> After a very successful morning in Tennessee, we headed into Kentucky to spend the rest of the day exploring new habitat in a new state. Oh, Graham just spotted a box turtle. He's kind of hunkered down. That's our first uh, Kentucky herp of the trip, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, very cool. So this is really unusual. I just uncovered some very, very small reptile eggs. I believe these are ground skink. Look how small. That is really neat. Great food source for milks, scarlet kings, all the other little fossorial snakes. This area is very full of life so far. Here's a little narrow mouth toad right next to where we found those ground skink eggs. All right, well, our first snakes in Kentucky on this trip are about the last thing I ever would have expected, Tantilla. I didn't even know these ranged into Kentucky, but apparently they do.
Very cool. But a very common snake we've seen a lot of in Georgia, so I'm not gonna ramble on about them, but I imagine these are a pretty good find in Kentucky. <laughs> oh my. Oh, two tantilla. Big ones. Here, wait, let me get a... That's the micro habit. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. That one there. Yeah, we've got two more Kentucky tantilla. Look at these guys. Is he gonna go down that hole? That one's beautiful. Yeah, a lot of white on its head. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's an eastern garter snake coiled up right there. Look at that. Look at this pretty lady. Just coiled up in the woods. Oh, that was cool. Grumpy. That's a great looking snake. First snake we've found just out in this section of the forest though. It's been pretty slow other than the tantilla under rocks. Here's our second black racer of the day. Oh, there he goes. All right, we're back to the car after uh, pretty much all day of hiking. And all we saw was really Tantilla at this uh, spot that we've been at in Kentucky. But, oh, we saw the garter snake too. Can't forget about that guy. I got a ring neck. Yep, and a ring neck. Oh, I saw a ring neck too, actually. But uh, You didn't tell me what are you trying <laughs> to jinx this one for me? I guess so. But we're going to make sandwiches and then maybe go flip a little bit of tin and probably call it a day.